Hey guys, Cece back with another video and today's video is going to be a review and wear test on the brand new Lorac Pro makeup line. your first time watching me or my channel make sure you go ahead and click that subscribe button also make sure you go ahead and click the little notification bell right next to the subscribe button so you can always be notified of all of my future videos because you never want to miss a single upload you also want to make sure you're following me on Instagram at Yvette Loves Beauty and also subscribed to my family vlog channel right here on YouTube at Bradley TV I do want to let you guys know that I do do a hashtag notification game shout out in my video Videos. so if you are a part of the hashtag notification gang if you've clicked that little bell go ahead and comment hashtag notification gang down below in the comment section and I like to do shout outs in my videos so we're gonna get into the notification gang shout out and then we're gonna get started what's up y'all today's notification gang shout out goes to Carolyn Michelle Jones Kirkland thank you so much for being a part of the hashtag notification gang and if you want a shout out make sure you comment hashtag notification gang down below after you click that little bell all right let's get back to the video all right, you guys, so if you have not seen, Lorac has actually come out with brand new products. It's a brand new line, it's, I think it is, it's called the Lorac Pro line. And so they've come out with a primer, they've come out with the foundation, and they've also come out with the concealer. Um, I was really excited when I saw this. Lorac, I used to love Lorac. I used to have a lot of Lorac products and then I kind of just stopped messing with them. I don't know. I haven't used the Lorac product in quite some time. So when I saw they were coming out with this brand new line, I was like, yes, God, I want a piece of it. So I went ahead, I ordered the, the primer, the foundation, and also the concealer. And we're just gonna do a wear test today. We're gonna see how this wears. We're gonna see how this works. We're going to see what the hype is all about. So first things first is the primer. Let me, I have the box right here. So I'm gonna read you guys what it says about the primer. This is supposed to prime, prep, and perfect. It's supposed to be infused with salicylic acid and antioxidant vitamins A, C, and E to help skin appear more healthy, youthful, and radiant. Oil and fragrance free and suitable for all skin types. So it's supposed to mattify shine, smooth uneven skin texture, acts like a makeup gripper for lasting wear, and provide optimal slip for smooth application and flawless complexion. That's a lot of claims there. And y'all know your girl has oily skin, so I feel like we'll get some, some good use out of this and see if this is oily skin approved or not. So let's go ahead and just apply. Haven't used it yet, so you gotta get a few pumps out, you know that. There we go. Okay, it has like a silicone, a silicone texture, which I normally don't like, I'm not gonna lie, but we're gonna try it. We're not gonna judge, we won't prejudge, okay? I will not prejudge. Silicone texture. I am just not a fan of silicone texture primers. I had no idea that was the texture, but well, we'll see. All right, so now let's move into the foundation. At first glance, I was like, girl, this is like a really small, skinny foundation. This ain't even an ounce like it normally is, but no, when I look at how much comes in the packaging, it's definitely one fluid ounce. So my first thought with this was, oh my God, so easy for travel. It's not glass packaging, it's like hard plastic, and so easy for travel, right? So small, so skinny, can fit into like small bags and small spaces. If you really love this foundation and wanna travel with it, I definitely love the like small, minimized, compressed packaging, okay? Of course, it comes with a pump, and I got the shade 18 Medium Dark. Now, I just kinda went off of Ulta's website, so I don't know if this is my right shade, but we're gonna test it out and see today, okay? So this foundation is supposed to be a filter, fix, and flawless. Refreshing feel with soft focus finish. Um, what else? Oil-free, fragrance-free, and vegan for all skin types, dermatologist tested. 
long wearing yet silky, not sticky, lightweight feel with buildable coverage, spherical powders deliver excellent slip and keeps the skin shine free. And this is also supposed to be water resistant. A lot of big claims there once again. So we're gonna go ahead and start to apply this. I'm gonna use my trusty beauty blender and let's shake it up a little bit. Oh, that came right out. Okay, it, it looks a little watery, look at it. It's running, so it's definitely a lighter texture. Oh, that looks kind of light too for my skin, but let's, let's see. It looks a little light skin, but if we have to darken it up with contour, that's what we'll do. I do have to go to church today, so I can't be looking crazy. I'm going to church right after this, so. I need for it to blend for the most part. All right, so there's the foundation. Let's blend it out. I should have put it on one side. I always forget, you guys, sorry, but we'll see. This is definitely a smidge too light for me, but we can work with it. Um, it's covering. I'm getting a light, a lighter to medium coverage here with this first side. I feel like I'm gonna need to put on another layer because it's like a light, yeah, a light to medium. It also said it was buildable though, so we'll put that to the test. All right, so here we are a little more zoomed. What do you guys think of the coverage? This will be for my girls who really don't like full coverage and y'all are like, ooh, sometimes those foundations just give way too much coverage. Like this would be a good foundation that would cover probably 75%, 70 to 75% of any skin concerns that you have, but would still let your skin kind of peek through a little bit, you know? All right, let's go ahead and put on one more layer. Definitely already dried, which is good. All right, so here we go after layer number two on the cheeks. What do you guys think? I'm liking it. My skin, my pores are filled in there. My skin looks matte, but not like super flat. And it hasn't completely dried yet the second layer, so we'll see what it looks like, but definitely doesn't look like it's about to dry down to like a super flat matte, which is good. Um, Cause especially in the winter time, I really don't need that. Um, so we look pretty good. I'm, I'm, I'm happy with this right now. Okay, all right, let's move into concealer. Um, this is the Lorac Pro Soft Focus Longwear Concealer. So let me read you the claims of the concealer as well. So this is supposed to conceal, highlight, and also sculpt. Ultra comfortable with airbrushed matte finish. Um, contains the different vitamins. It's oil free, fragrance free, and vegan as with the other products. Mm -hmm. Suitable for all skin types and dermatologists tested. Full coverage and super blendable. Long wearing yet silky, not sticky. Blurring powders deliver superior coverage while concealing imperfections and filling in wrinkles. So this sounds like it would be good for my ladies who are not 20 anymore and you need a little more coverage under there. Um, this concealer sounds like it would be good for that. And what shade did I get? I got the shade 13.5 medium, which I mean, I could have went a little lighter. I normally go a little lighter, so I could have went a little lighter, but whatever. We'll work with it. And I tell you guys all the time, I don't have much to cover in my under eye area. So I tend to go for like a medium covering concealer. I don't need something like super full coverage. I have full coverage concealers that I love because I just think they make my under eye look good, but I don't need that. I don't like need, need that coverage. All right. Not as high lit as I would like because it's my fault I got the wrong shade, 
but um what do you guys think about my under eye I think it looks nice and smooth I think the shade actually blended in with the foundation shade so yeah I thought it would be lighter because this is a 13.5 and I got the shade 18 in the foundation so I thought it would be lighter but it's not so we'll we'll have to see if we're gonna like take that back for a lighter shade or not but either way my under eye it looks good I mean I don't have a problem with it I guess the real test would be if it creases or not it's definitely full coverage I can definitely tell that it has coverage under there so if you're looking for something more full coverage then this would probably be a good option for you um, we're gonna set it with the Fenty Beauty this is the pro filter any um, instant retouch setting powder in the shade banana you guys so here's the look with the three Lorac products that we've tried I think we look pretty good so far I don't have any issues right now um, it's definitely dried down to a matte still not all the way flat but it's it's pretty matte and I haven't even powdered yet so we're gonna have to like lightly powder but um, I am liking it so far I'm liking the way it looks I'm gonna try to bring some life back to my face with the um, the different products that I use like my highlighter and my contour and everything because I feel like my face looks a little lifeless with this foundation on um, it's definitely matter than any of the foundations that I've been trying lately so uh, yeah we're gonna have to bring some life back to the face but I'm not saying that's a bad thing because we are in the dead middle of winter now if this was three months in the future this may be my jam you know what I mean so you got to keep that in mind when you're testing out foundations like what time of year you're testing them out and all of that especially for us oily skin girls because you already know the winter February March is totally different from June July August September okay so let's go ahead finish up the face and I'll be right back all right, so I just pulled my hair back a little bit so you guys can see the full and final look. I mean, this was such a quick and easy look. On my eyes, I used the Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam palette. You guys know how much I enjoy that palette. I'm um, really quick, simple five minute look. And then for face powder, I actually used the Urban Decay All Nighter and a mix of the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Skin Perfecting Micro powder and that's in number three dark and what I did was just take very light amounts of each and I kind of mix them together and put them on the face I used the pure cosmetics bronzer in bronzing act this bronzer I absolutely love and I went a little heavier on the bronzer today just because the foundation was a little light I just wanted to make sure everything blended well I used the hourglass blush in diffused heat which is really really pretty and I used the highlighter in um, Glow Subtle. This is the Silky Cream Highlighter from Lancome. And it's in shade Glowing Lights number six. So very, very pretty. I haven't used this in a while. So those are all the products that I have on my face. I'll make sure to link them down below in the description box. And yeah, this is our final look. It is right now, what time is it? 10.02 a.m. you guys see that 1002 a.m. Um, so we have a pretty full day today I have to go to church today and I'm gonna go over to my mom's house for dinner and I'm just gonna be kind of hanging out you know what I forgot to do I forgot to put on lips let's do lips right now and then <laughs> I'll talk while I'm doing my lips but um, yeah I'm just gonna be over my mom's house kind of hanging out and eating dinner and then I have to come back I have to do some cleaning mark uh, actually comes home today because he's been out of town so I'm gonna see him and yeah so we have a pretty full day so we will be able to test this baby out in the elements we'll be able to test it out at home and we'll see if if this little this little combo is worth your money and your time I've been so basic with the lips lately y'all I just use max lip liner and cork and then this is Fenty's lip gloss and glass slipper one of her new ones so that's it so make sure you stay tuned I will keep you guys updated 
what's up y'all so i just wanted to give you an initial look of the foundation i'm hoping i didn't mess it up too much with my sunglasses but i just want to give you an initial look of what we look like look at the creepers in the back so this is the foundation i'm in sun y'all i'm trying to get out of it this is the f initial foundation in um daylight y'all know sometimes that sunlight can smack you and you could be like girl I'll actually look a hot mess like those lights and doors those are deceiving sometimes but this is the look of the foundation it actually still looks good it's 11:34, so we're about an hour and a half in and it looks good as it still should um I don't see any any issues really that I would bring up right now I just wanted to show you guys what the foundation looks like under direct sunlight and it's direct because it's, it's pretty sunny out here so uh yeah there you go i'll check in in a couple hours Dad. say bye girls bye what's up y'all so let me close this door i'm in my mama house it's 5 7 p.m and i want to do another update this is what we're looking like let's get up in the light where i'm in her bathroom so it's so loud but I'm up in the light here and as you can see I'm a little shiny like in the mid face area but other than that I think we look pretty good I mean the foundation told up really well it's five o'clock I put it on at 10 so we're talking about seven hours of wear here no touch-ups I have not touched it I have not blotted I've not done anything and I did bring my fancy blotting blotting powder the drugstore is getting better and better with mattifying products. I can definitely say, not the drugstore, the makeup stores in general, companies, they're getting better and better with mattifying products because I'm having less and less issues with excessive oils. I can definitely say that the lighting just changed. I don't know why. But that's what we look like. I don't see anything breaking up. And the foundation looks really nice it doesn't look cakey it looks pretty good it still looks pretty natural and I'm I'm okay with it I'm okay with it right now all right I'm gonna give it a few more hours and then I'll check back in what's up y'all I am back with the remainder of this video just wanted to show you guys the rest of the look this is what time is it it's 6 58 in the p.m. so seven o'clock so we've had this makeup on from 10 to 7 so about nine hours of wear and I think that is a long time to wear a foundation long enough to get a nice little perspective on it so let's talk about my thoughts y'all I'm looking a mess your girl is done for the day okay I've had it like I am just done for the day lip color gone I'm done <laughs> So I'm ready to take this makeup off, but let's start about my thoughts on the foundation and the concealer and the primer. So first things first, I do want to say that I do want to try these in different capacities. I would like to try the primer with other foundation and concealer combos, and I would like to try the foundation and concealer with other primers just to see if they would work differently, better or worse with products that are not in the same line. I will be doing that over the course of the next few weeks. I do want to try that so make sure you're following me on Instagram because I'm going to be posting those wear tests on Instagram but um yes I feel like I tried out three products and it was like okay if there is a problem which one is the problem I would never know so I would like to try them out separately that's one thought the second thought is overall as I'm looking at myself, we're talking about nine hours of wear. We're talking about no touch up, no powder, no blotting, no nothing. I have been out in the elements. I've been at home just kind of sitting and eating at my mom's house. And um, I've been doing a lot of stuff today. And so the way I look right now, I would expect to look this way after nine hours of wear. You guys know I have oily skin. So this is really this is what happens when you don't touch up your face when you're an oily skinned person. I'm sure all of you oily skinned people can can understand, okay? We stand together. So normally what I would see is a lot of oil in this area right here, like starting right here, probably going up to here, and then going over to this cheek and in this area. That is where I get the most oily. It's like that dead center point in my face. And so 
I expect to get oily there, especially when I don't blot. This is a face that I feel like had I blotted at around three o'clock, um, I would have been perfectly fine. Had I blotted around two or three o'clock, I would have looked good and things would have been okay. You know what I'm saying? But for the purposes of this video, I just wanted to kind of test it out without blotting. So. As I look at the rest of my face, my contour is still there. Blush, eh, not completely. I see like little remnants of it, but definitely not completely still there like it was this morning. So if I were to say want to go out right now, I definitely have to touch up my blush. Of course I'd have to blot, but I'd have to also touch up that blush because that is pretty much gone. But the contour powder is still there and I think overall the face is still there. I don't see any points in the face where we broke up. I just want to make sure. No, the foundation is still on my nose. It's oily as hell, but it's still on my nose. It's still on like the sides of my nose here. And I don't see where it broke up anywhere else so that's always a good sign I've had foundations where at the end of the day half the foundation is gone and you're like girl where'd your foundation go like where are you you're gone so that's that's definitely a good thing um I don't really I can't really say any cons about it except the fact that if you're super oily like I am you're going to get oily if you don't touch up and you have a long day that's just that's what it is and it still doesn't look the worst but of course it doesn't look the best so let's go ahead and blot and just see how it looks blotted So here we go. I feel like it looks as good as new. I, I think the true test for me as far as if a foundation works or not, one is how oily I get and how fast I get that oily. So I didn't feel like I got oily the way I did probably until about six or seven hours in, which for me is really, really, really good. And then on top of that, also I didn't feel like the oils were too crazy or too overbearing. I've had foundations where it was like running down my face or if you touched it, it would just come off because I was so oily, so slick, so greasy, you know what I mean? So those are two big factors for me. And then on top of that, how well the foundation touches up at the end of the day. Like if I can go through an entire work day and then go to happy hour afterwards with just a little touch up like I just did, that is a win for me. I don't feel like foundations were or makeup in general were made to last on your face for 24 hours. I know there are foundations that have those claims 16, 18, 20 24 hour wear no one's wearing their makeup for that long first of all and on top of that I just don't feel like makeup was meant to last on your skin for that long I feel like that's a long time to have a foreign substance on your face of course your skin is gonna do what it does and so like I said I look at those main points but other than that I, I think your skin needs to breathe and your need your skin needs to produce oils and so sometimes it's just really hard to judge and you're like oh it's been 10 hours and my foundation looks like crap well that's because it's been 10 hours so you need to probably do a little maintenance to it and if I can go 10 hours and don't have to maintenance it that's a perfect foundation in my book like that is amazing I mean for nine hours I felt like I looked pretty good and had I went through my normal routine and touched up throughout the day probably at hour five or six I think we would have looked phenomenal so those are my final thoughts I definitely think this foundation primer concealer combo is oily skin approved so if you have oily skin and you were thinking about picking up this little bundle I would definitely say go for it like I said I will be trying these products with different primers with different um, foundations and all of that stuff over the next several weeks over on my Instagram so make sure you head over there and follow me. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel. And I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye, guys.